double A, I win into fifth, one point off top four. Happy with what's going down at the moment, happy with that performance today, considering the amount of games we've got. Frustrated with the performance in, in, as a whole, but coming away with three points, you can't, you can't be mad at that. Considering that's a tough October, nine games in October. The tired, you can tell, massively tired. That second half, we put out a buff, that's all it was, and nothing was working. A bit of frustration, we're looking to get away with the three points, but I think. You know, if we reach our goals at the end of the season, top four, you look back at that as a, a hard-fought win. You know, they're, they're the games we used to win when we won leagues, and they, they were they were the killer games that we, we always seem to manage to scrape. And they're getting that now, and it's not pretty, but it's it's, it's three points at the end of the day. Is that down to the way we set up, our defensive changes that we've made, new players coming in, challenging players? Luke Shaw, for one, has took it upon himself to really up his game now. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was, he was my man of the match today, uh, but we've seen a defence sort of carry the frailties of the rest of the team at the moment. That's what I said. I mean, how do you see it at the moment? Because I feel like that defence is getting us points. Oh, absolutely. And you know, you can see that they're coming in and they're all they're all strong. They're all they're all communicating with each other, and they're building that base. It's just like you say, it's the rest of the team going forward. That can't seem to build on that, unfortunately, at the moment. Um, you know, Casemiro, you add into that back five or back six, you put him as, you know, he, he's again a leader. And I saw a couple of moments he's taking the ball straight from De Gea and the defence and trying to get it forward because they're just being too slow at points. And I agree with you, Shaw was really, really good. Uh, I think the low again looking absolutely fantastic. I think we've got that base now of, of the defence looking super strong. And I, like you, probably frustrated that. The forward line and reciprocating their hard work that they're doing, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, looking ahead this week, now you mentioned October, the amount of games. We had a game there against West Ham, tough outfit. Yeah. Villa next weekend, new manager bounce, Emre, who seems to have our number, as we know. Yeah. Uh, how would you balance Sociedad to Villa? Would you sacrifice the Europa League for? that Villa game because if we go guns blazing against Solskjaer we're going to get a similar performance that we got today and that's going to be a tired team at Villa Park that may be a different story maybe too much how do you balance that? Yeah, I mean you say new, new manager balance they got stuff 4-0 yesterday but that not in charge yet though, well, no. well, you know, <laughs> that's not going to happen against us as, as we all know that it'll be a tough game at Villa Park for me personally I think there needs to be some changes we don't want to go down this route of like Hall is sticking with the same team, game in, game out. So, you know, a lot of the same players that played Thursday played tonight. I would like to see a couple of changes. I think Bruno and Ericsson probably need to hold the bench for a little bit, uh, especially on Thursday. Give Donny and Fred a game. Uh, that might go down not too well, but I think we need to start rotating and start to put a few more players from the bench. And he needs to show that he has faith in the whole squad and not just those killer players that we seem to play in week in, week out. Still is a massively important game. I think we need to keep chugging along in in the league. Yes, it's important that we get a result at Sociedad, but we're, even if we get a draw, we're still in the Europa League. We're not going to get kicked out. It'll be a tougher game, but it's the games we need to win. And if we're going to prove that Ten Hag and this team can challenge for stuff, and, and we're going to meet a good team in the Europa League eventually, I imagine. So just do it now. Do it earlier. I'd rather us refresh and be fresher for fit Villa and getting that top four for Champions League. And yeah, just, just seeing a few changes. Uh, Sancho, I think, needs to have a game as well on, on Thursday. Yeah, why do you think he didn't bring Sancho on today? Harsh, I shouldn't think he's showing, you know, you need, you need to really start to produce when you're on the pitch. And I think sometimes that can work either way. You know, a, a young man probably would have thought he's going to get on today. Even Ganacho, you know, that second half was crying out for an outlet. and. Him or Ganacho probably could have provided that. Rashford looked, looked dead on his feet uh, at the end of that game. So maybe Sancho needs to look at himself now and if he gets a chance on Thursday, really put Sociedad to, his, to the sword and prove that he should be starting going forward for me. That's it. And before you go, mate, who's getting that part of the match for you today? Who's stand out today? I mean, there's probably three outstanding candidates for me. Shaw, again, like you said, he's, he's really taking it on. He looks lean. He looks mean and he looks like he's really taking that Malassia challenge on uh, and he looked really good. Martinez, you know, you run out of stability for him because he's just unbelievable. In every game you see him, he's just, he's there, he's, he's, he's feisty, he's, he's attacking and in a defensive way and he's just showing again why he's a fan favourite. But for me, I think just because he's, he's impressing me every time I see him and he's improving, he's crossing, he's getting forward, the low for me is just at the moment 
playing at an eight, nine every single game. I'm really, really impressed with him, and I, I, I just, I'm so happy for him. And he could be one of those that, because he's playing every week, could be looking tired, but he's not, and he's he's thriving on the responsibility of being our first choice right back. So for me tonight, I'm going to give it to Delo. Well said, Delo, mate. Cheers for coming on, pal. Yeah, cheers, Adam. Nice one, mate.